we all walk our own path, but sometimes our lives meet at the intersection where we share our struggles. But I have the constant, well, I can't get evicted. Next week there might be no, well, tomorrow there might not be no money. So it's constant, like, life could change like this. So I'm emotionally, from the past relationship, I'm a wreck from that. Financially, just knowing that everything could fall out, the bottom could just drop out, I'm a wreck from that, and thinking, something, I have a daughter, I have a mother, and by any means necessary, it's gonna get done. It was to hear my daughter screaming and crying. Please stop, stop, stop. And this is not even that. Please, you're gonna kill her. And my son, emotional. I'm responsible for that. And whatever, but that's why I did what I did. And that's why I decided to start climbing out. It's because of my children. Our fears. You have to. And then you're dealing with, even though he was no good for you, I call his baby mother all the time. Like, just get it. If he gets out, like, please don't forget to call me. Cause I don't want to walk out my door and think like, yeah, baby, it's, it's cool. You know, when I was pregnant, I used to dream that I bumped into him and he kicked me in my stomach. Like, I dreamt about him three days ago. He had me held in the car. Like, it just never goes away. And people, like, people are, well, aren't you living reality? I was like, my boy killed his girl, burned her in a car, and got out in a year. It happens all the time. That is reality for me. And our hopes. My top, top goal is to be able to get the housing and be able to afford to get the, a building big enough to house, you know, to be like a, a, a safe haven for women of domestic violence and the children. And then be able to get another building for high-risk teen girls and young men. This is what I've been doing for 10 years. I want to wake up and know that I can pay the bills and not go to jail. Like, my everyday is, yeah, the money's coming in, but my everyday is also, we can go to jail at any minute. Grammy award-winning hip-hop artist, author, and activist Queen Penn and VH1's white rapper show finalist Persia prove one conversation can make a difference. I don't want you to ever feel like, you know, it's the end. Because it's never the end. We don't decide when it's the end, you know? Intersections.